Hey guys, Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. Got the old National Park hat on, rocking it out on a sunny day. I don't know if the National Park Service be real happy for me or not, uh, if I was rocking this out and they knew it, but oh well, it's mine. So, hey guys, I wanna do something for you. I feel like um, you missed out on some drone footage of when we let the bison out in the new pasture. So, I just wanna show you the rest of that. It's about nine minutes, I think, or so of solid footage. I just zoomed out and I wanted to see everything because the, the bison, they kind of split up. Uh, but I feel like you missed out on it because these bison, they get so excited and they get so much energy. Just like that when they hit new ground and, and they see the new grass and they get all these new smells and, and uh, they just love it. They absolutely love it. They get so excited. And so I want to share it with you. I zoomed out far enough so you could see them all, uh, but they didn't have any close-ups, but I just wanted to share this with you so you guys can see it and you guys let me know what you think. And um, just trying to share share my story with you and try to share everything that I get to see um, with you. Okay, here it is.
pretty awesome, isn't it? <laughs> oh man, these bison, they're a mess. I, I love it though. They're, they're such a cool animal. But I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the music that goes along with it. I know uh, you guys will probably need a break from me talking all the time because I, <laughs> I can get carried away talking about these animals and, and all the stuff they do. But I think they like their new lot and the, the fence is, is doing good. And um, Six wire fence, you can put them in this, guys. Uh, you can ask a lot of bison producers, you know, you can put them in this. The main thing you got to do is, like I've said before, keep those bison happy. You keep those bison happy and they won't go through this fence, okay? The, um, the benefit of this is one, we only have one bull. So you don't have two bulls fighting, which could cause um, two bulls fighting could go through a fence. You know, I get a lot, some cattle people always uh, follow, they follow us and make comments about the difference between cattle and bison. Guys, cattle can go through this fence and you've probably seen it. You can watch, I'm sure there's videos out there of cattle going through this. And one of the things that you'll see is two bulls fighting um, and they'll break through a barbed wire fence like this. But with bison, you know, and cattle's the same way. If you keep them happy, keep them fed, keep them watered, um, you know, just make sure they're doing, they're healthy and that you're taking care of them. That's the main thing. If you love these bison, if you love whatever animal you're raising, they recognize it and they know. And uh, you keep them, you keep those, those things, like I said, you keep them fed, keep them watered. You're doing good. They will not go through that fence, I promise you. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the footage. Uh, I just felt, wanted to share that with you. I hated for you to uh, to miss out on some of that good footage of, uh, of seeing their reactions when they hit that new ground. So thank you guys for watching. If you haven't, hit that subscribe button. Follow us along. We're raising the American bison right here on a small farm in Southern Oklahoma. You can follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And uh, if you're interested, get a t-shirt. I'm selling them for $20 now. I'm um, running a little COVID-19 special. All right. And hat, I'm going to tip our hat to the National Park Service. They need to open back up so we can let America explore the national parks. All right. Thank you, guys.